So well, before we learn in the Python programming, so we need to install the Python software in your laptop, right? So maybe you don't know that procedure to installing the Python software. So I will tell to you, so how to install the Python software in your laptop. So it is very easy and it is uh, taking the few minutes only. So what is the procedure for installing the Python software in your laptop? So we can see right now and uh, before we installing the Python software, we need some sources, right? So how we can get? Actually, Python software is very, I mean, you know, open sources, you can get in internet, right? So just follow that procedure and it will be very easy and it taking the few minutes only. Okay, right. We can start right now. So first, initially, go to the browser. Okay, just go to the browser uh, and type Python download. Just search Python download. Okay, then click this first link very first link and you can see the one pages right python pages so here i mean you know latest version is available here if you click this link in the sense uh, it will be downloaded automatically right then you need i mean you know uh, another versions so another versions in the sense before version so um, here available uh, lots of the versions are available in python software okay right so here uh, just click this link so it will be downloaded see here this is the downloaded so it is downloaded and i need uh, i mean you know uh, 3.10.4 before i am using this version only so that's why i click this one and yeah download this one yes so it's downloaded okay it's downloaded right now then click show in folder once download is completed just click show in folder okay so you can see this so you can see this two versions i downloaded here so this is the latest version before i am using this version only so that's why i'm uh, i mean i installed this version okay so just click just click this one okay so it will be show the i mean you know different pages right so what is that in the sense exactly now it, it we are going to installing the python software in the i mean uh, in computer so uh, if shows uh, i mean you know uh, you need to mark this uh, i mean you know add python 3.10 to the path so what is the purpose of this in the sense it will be creating the path okay it will be creating the path it is very mandatory so should follow this procedure okay should follow this procedure so this is the path so this is the path installation path location so just click this one so it will be installing right now so it is installing right now okay so it taking a few minutes only okay right so just see this one so if you want to, I mean, you know, 3.6 and 3.9 in the sense you can get it uh, from the particular website. Okay. So you can get it. So this is the very, uh, I mean, you know, latest version. So that's why I'm installing. Okay. Right. Yeah, the install is, uh, I mean, you know, the installation is completed. Okay, then close this one. So, uh, after completing the Python software, we need to check the Python software installed perfectly or not. Right? So, we need to check. So, what is the procedure for checking that one? Right? So, that will be a question, right? So, just go to the command prompt. Okay, just go to the command prompt. Click the start button and enter the command prompt. Okay. So enter the command prompt. Just a minute. Then open this one. Okay. Click Python. 
sorry type python okay then enter so if it is enter it will be notifies if it is installed in the sense it will be notify the versions and installed okay see here the python software is installed once it is not installed in the sense it will not found it will not found okay so now the python software uh, i mean installed successfully and the another procedure the another procedure so just to open ideally okay so ideally is a platform that is environmental platform for the python okay right just go to the start button and type ideally okay so ideally just to open this one it's like a command prompt okay so it's like a command prompt so it is open in the sense uh, that means it it is installed properly so two different way the we can check it is installed or not okay like this way okay fine so what is the purpose of ideally it is same way it is the same procedure uh, like a command prompt what is that in the sense you can run the code you can run the code this platform for example uh, the basic program i can write here so a is equal to 10 then b is equal to 10 then c is equal to 10 in the sense then print a plus b plus c okay then i enter so it will be you know the answer will be 30 so the python software the ideal shell will be executed at the same time it's like interactive mode programming it's like a interactive mode programming hope you can understand and thank you